I didn't think it was possible, but Kick has an even worse reputation, even worse than it already had back then. Go. Where is it, old man? Do you have Alzheimer's? Are you okay in the head? Are you okay in the head? Did you drop it? Literally his mind. Now he lost. Whose phone is this? Is this your phone? Do you have dementia? Record that. Is that his phone? Now, Kick was supposed to be a streaming service where basically the rejects of Twitch and those who were cancelled all moved to. And of course, with all these people being filtered for being kaka and not being able to stream on Twitch, they all stagnated and were flushed down the toilet into the streaming service known as Kick. I know, I know, I know. I'm already reading the comments, and no, not everyone on Kick is a horrible person, but with peace and love, most of them are. And most of these people on Kick are clout goblin fiends. Sure, you may say that I am one because I'm covering them. But not to the same extent that they are. I mean, they take it far beyond what's normal. Whether it is Neon antagonizing innocent workers and then hiding behind a bodyguard, or a cracked out Vitaly dressing up as Miss Tanisha and capturing predators only to fail and let them out anyways, or who can forget the worst of the worst Johnny Somali who got arrested for antagonizing a bunch of innocent Japanese citizens and then later got arrested for trespassing on a construction site? I mean, this guy literally ruined all of streaming for all Americans in Japan. So, am I, this, am I at that same level? No, I wouldn't say so. These people will do whatever or whoever <clears throat> for a few seconds of fame. But at what cost, I ask you? Is the clout really that yummy? Is it? If Twitch is the Justice League, Kick is the Legion of Doom. And right now, by far, the leader of the clown show of Kick goes by the name of Just X Snaz. Do I want to? All right, so is Combi pulling up a ball? Call Combi right now and see if he's pulling up a ball. If he's pulling up no, on God, no, you, you guys, you guys, you call him. No, you call him. You, you call, call him. him. No, you, you call, call him. him. You call him. You call him. You call him. You call him. I hate that I found that funny. I hate that I found that funny. <laughs> Come on, you're better than this, Poonzy. In that brief clip, you probably have an idea on how this person acts, and damn is he such a weirdo. If you hadn't heard of him before, you probably either heard of him when that one viral moment on Twitter took off. It was when this man made fun of the cartel and El Chapo out of all people. El Chapo, how about that one, nigga? I don't know who that nigga is. El Chapo, nigga, I'm El Chapo K, nigga. I will cut El Chapo's knuckle. The whole cartel, suck my d And I'm going to Mexico next week. And I click that whole crowd, I'll make a whole lot of Mexicans run. And never scared of no Mexican. Not surprisingly, since we know how real and scary the Mexican cartel can be, they of course responded with serious threats. And in that moment, he fucked around and found out. He's like, oh wait. I might actually get my face filleted like a fish fillet. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh wait, I'm actually gonna visit Mexico in a week? And I just said that about their leader? Hmm, I should probably apologize. And that's exactly what this man did. This man pulled a full 180 real quick. He quickly swallowed his tongue in pride, you know, right before the cartel would rip it off for him. No, the cartel is crazy. But you know, somebody came in my chat named El Chapa, part of the cartel, he's obviously fake cartel. He wouldn't be on the website on kick, trolling in the chat. You know, uh, the real cartel, I would never disrespect. You know, El Chapa, I know how your mans gets. You know, I know how the cartel gets. They would slice me like, you know what I'm saying? Some some salami at like cold cuts, you know what I'm saying? They, they would turn me the cold cuts. How you guys would yoke my little ass up and just like slice me up with no, and give no f if you follow the Mexican cartel and the things they be doing, they be doing a lot worse for a lot less. I mean, I've seen horrible things happen to Mexican seniors who get brutally tortured and videotaped for everyone online to see only because they sang a song. And here comes this streamer who is mocking their leader and about to visit their home turf. Like how insane do you have to be? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I call clout brain. I might really, yo, I'm, yo, that camera get on me, I don't, like a chat. You see now, I, I, I get canceled every week. Uh, yo, when them cameras come on, I don't know how to act, nigga, I don't. I will do anything to get to the top. I'll do anything to go viral for a viral moment. I might spit in the cop's face today, I, I just might. I might take my security's gun off his hip and just shoot somebody. 
I might go to jail for the rest of my life today, like for a viral clip. It's like the brain is all mushy. Nothing, no thoughts going through. The only thing that the brain is thinking is I need clout, I need clout. And they will do whatever it takes to get it, even if it means doing this. 14, 14. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that what grade is that? Like a sophomore? Eighth grade. Sophomore. Eighth grade. Sophomore. Can I play with that? Sophomore's little... like sixteen. What? Can I play with that little eighth grade play? <laughs> that shit is nasty, bro. Brother. Ooh. Brother, brother, brother ooh. There's a weird correlation with the more clogged the brain is with clout, the more weird and far off jokes they make, especially with minors. So if you didn't know what just happened, the app that he's using is called Monkey, and it's an online random chat generator where basically you meet up with random strangers and you get to chat with them online. It's basically the new Meagle before it was taken down because, you know, creeps like this man were making it unhospitable for normal people. Unfortunately, or fortunately I guess for him, the main users on this app are children, and this man is making a sick perverted joke about children who aren't even in high school yet all to his fans who are also children like can someone do something please like this is out of hand and kick would shockingly do something kick would temporarily ban this man for a month you know how insane you have to be for kick not to want you i get twitch right the moment you do something wrong the moment you color out of the line twitch will drop a whole nuke on your ass unless you're pokimane but for kick to not want you you must have messed up really bad if not twitch or kick like where do you go to stream afterwards what, hell prison like what where do you stream afterwards but if you know me i always try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt i always think that everyone deserves a second chance i know i'm gonna eventually need a second chance when i get canceled by you guys as long as he doesn't double down or say anything horrible to another minor then i guess i can forgive oh you know take the tunnel entry little tay <laughs> come to uh sb island what's 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 what? epstein island come to sb island uh little tay let me show you around FD Island. <laughs> I bet you're gonna come back right, man. That's why I went. I went to Epstein Island. That's probably why I'm, you know, acting like this, man. <laughs> yes, Lil Tay is a 16-year-old girl. And yes, he just told her that he wants to take her to Ice Theme Island, Ice Cream Island. Ice cream lion? What's it called again? Oh, Einstein lion. Dude, she's just a little girl and this man is literally joking about sex assaulting her. Isn't that crazy? Nothing that he said is funny at all. What is this man trying to accomplish? All this man is doing is giving kick streamers an even worse name, more worse than what they already had in the past. Back then, I would used to associate kick streamers with making loud commotions, bullying, <laughs> bullying, innocent civilians brain rotting the youth but now kick has been steering closer and closer to the edge of pedophile territory with more content creators like vitaly doing content relating to that and now more streamers doing pedophile jokes at this point how long is kick going to last before it gets taken down by the fbi i mean i wouldn't be surprised if that happened and keep in mind all of this came about because lil tay decided to tweet about him when just x snags went viral on twitter for making fun of a girl around her Age, and no, this time he wouldn't make a pedophile joke to a minor. Don't you love how high the bar is for him? I'm down to rizz it up. I don't care. You not bad enough. Your nose, you got the fucking beak on you. You look, you look like you stink. Your hair look like your hair look mad rough. Like comb your hair a little bit. Mm. Yeah, you and your shit, your lips. Why are you, so mean? you dumb bitch. Look, look, your lips look mad dry. Your hands is mad fat. You look crazy. Do this. Show me your teeth. Your teeth is you know, pussy. Your teeth is pussy, yellow. Yeah. What the fuck? Stop speaking sign oh language. Mind. Fuck so all that sign language. Deaf. You deaf? I am actually deaf. No, you I'm not. Cause you're like, no, you do not, bro. Don't be with. Oh shit, my fault. I'm going to have. I'm going to have. Yeah, they going. Again, I will always say this. I love good jokes, especially if they are funny. But what about this is funny? The worst part of this is that the girl didn't even try to do anything to him. She was just minding her own business and just trying to have a genuine conversation. And he just unloaded on her for what? Also, his fans can make fun of her. This whole entire situation is just so scummy. And of course, Lil Tay didn't appreciate this, and that's why she decided to speak out of this. During this tweet, Lil Tay will also accuse him of being a. Pedophile, rightfully so. I mean, if you saw all the things from an outside perspective, 
you would also probably say that. Now, do I think that's the case? Personally, this looks like a more serious case of clout brain more than anything else. To me, these just look like tasteless, edgy jokes trying to get some notoriety online. Because if he was a genuine, true pedophile, real pedophiles don't be claiming that they are one and stream it in front of millions of people to watch online. I feel like they tend to be more behind the scenes, right? All I'm saying is they don't want to get caught. So I don't think he is one, but that being said, I can definitely see why people would say that about him, and I'm not surprised. Lil Tay's tweet would end up garnering over 3 million views on X, and many of them were agreeing with her, and in response to this genuine criticism and feedback for what he had created for himself, this was just X Snag's response to these criticisms. Little Tay owns you. Fuck that little I see that little I'm gonna break her fucking neck. I'm gonna step on her fucking school. I'm gonna break her school and a half. She's sucking my. She wanna get some album promos, all that. What happened to you packing yourself, Little Tay? I don't even know you. All I heard was Little Tay die. I got so happy. I rolled up. I hate you. Stop saying my name. I don't care. She started with me first. Basically doubling down and making another perverted joke to a 16 year old girl. Very classy. Again, what about this is funny? I guess it's because she's young and he's old. Is that the funny part? Like imagine this was your daughter and there's this man joking about that to your daughter. Wouldn't you be kind of pissed off? I'm glad that he's banned for 30 days and I wish it was longer, but unfortunately it almost seems like after these 30 days, he will come back and probably even worse this time. I mean, unless the cartel, um, <clears throat> you know what, Never mind. The truth is he's probably never gonna stop, not anytime soon because he's too addicted to this clout and the few seconds of fame that he's getting because of this. He even said it himself, he doesn't plan on ever stopping. And how can you? when you're getting rewarded for doing such stupid things. He will reach a point like everyone who did this previously to him like Sneeko and Gideon where they have to end up reflecting on their actions and realize maybe I shouldn't have been doing this and I will be waiting for when that arc comes. Anyway that's all I have to say about this. Let me know what you guys think about this whole entire situation. Am I right? Am I wrong? Are these jokes really funny? Maybe, I don't know maybe I'm out of touch. You let me know in the comments down below and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do. That's all I ask. Bye!